Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I don't always drink ale, but when I do, I drink Sven off ice. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is BMP here. We have another episode in the adventures of the most interesting man in the world, the mountain himself, Sven off. Um, <laughs> he is currently hanging out in his new bachelor pad, the freshly liberated from rebels care band Seth. This is our first town and I'm not going to lie. I really like this, uh, this throne room. The, the Batanian aesthetic kind of fits Sven off like fur pelts everywhere, kind of animal tribal, like insignias designs on the walls. I like this really fits Sven off. Um, oh my God. Oh my god, look at that stake that he has there. It is it is actively bleeding out. It is the heartbeat, you can still you can still sense it. What did you tell the chef, man? Hey, hey. I want you to just walk it past the grill. No no no, don't put it on, don't put it on. Just walk it past, intimidate it a little bit. That's it. That's all I want. <laughs> That's how rare I want my steak. Um, so, anyways, uh plan for today. We are currently, well, kind of at peace. Technically, we're still at war with the Cusates, but that's a whole continent away from us, so we're not worried about that. Um, I want to take advantage for this peace while I have it, and I don't think it's going to be long before either Vlandia or the Batanians declare war on us again. I want to take advantage of this to uh, kind of set ourselves up for success, get some progress done on smithing, and if possible, seal the deal with Apollonia, our, uh, our future queen hopefully uh so that's the plan for today um probably this first part of the episode i'm gonna be jumping around a little bit as i uh grind through different tasks um so yeah let's get started on that hold on wait a minute um i got that wrong apparently we're not at war with the Cusates anymore we're only at war with the northern empire i thought we made peace with these guys like after batania came in and kind of separated us they're like hey, hey, hey cut it out you two uh, I just assumed we pieced them out, but I guess not. And that works out for us because there are a ton of prisoners just sitting here that we can go ahead and sell these off, right? How much is this gonna... Ooh! 10k? Hell yeah. Oh, also, wait. Oh, okay. So, one of you guys gave me some pretty good advice in the comments. Um, oh, fuck, he's Sturgeon. Damn it, I need... I need to recruit a... Uh, a Batanian companion. That way I can put him managing this town because the problem is, well, Nozan isn't even he here yet, but Nozan is Sturgeon, so it, there's a big loyalty hit when the governor is the is a different culture. Um, there already is a pretty big one because we, the owner, are a different culture than them, but uh, yeah, this isn't helping either. Um, so if we could get someone who was at least decent, at least decent at being a governor that's Batanian, I think that would make a big difference for us. We're still, the loyalty is ra rapidly dropping. We're not going to be able to change that. That's just, that is what it is. Um, it's not of our culture. We're not going to be able to maintain 80 loyalty. That's not a thing. Um, but we can do our best. So we're going to keep our eyes out this episode. Hopefully we can find a good Batanian vassal. Um, anyways, let me just, let me just keep selling off the rest of these prisoners. Okay, the rest of them were not worth much at all. I think we only got, like, another two grand for the last hundred of them. Um, but we did just get up to 50 roguery. So what does this give us, actually? I'm not sure. Okay, deep pockets, double the amount of betting you can use in tournaments, and bandit units in your party are 20% cheaper. Okay, or 50% chance... 50% 50, 50 better chance of success with disguise missions. And convert bandit prisoners without suffering morale penalty. Hmm. I don't know how much, how like useful any of this is realistically going to be. I think maybe we'll just do deep pockets. Yeah, double amount of betting. I mean, that's kind of cool. We're probably going to be winning or trying to win a decent amount of tournaments this episode. Because... Um, my plan is to just keep on running around doing tournaments so to offset the loss in wages uh, while we're working on our smithing. I think that's the best move. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Lots of level ups. Good stuff. Okay, okay. Also want to continue training up 
uh, a new army, mainly m infantry. Obviously, we'll keep on working on the archers. Those are big for sieges. And if we're worried about Vlandia or Batania declaring war on us and us having to defend against some large armies, having a bunch of super elite archers, a bunch of Fion champions manning our walls would be pretty big for us. So, yeah, I think that's the plan. Let me get started on the, uh, the smithing here. I think I need some hardwood. All right, just like that, another dub. The, uh, the deep pockets, it doesn't make a huge difference because the odds are so stacked in our favor. Um, I, even betting max for the first round, we're only profiting like 100, 200 coins, I think. It's, it's very little money overall, but at least, I don't know, it's, it's a little something. Uh, what is this? How much does this go for? 1,200? Not bad, not bad. And then, uh, boo boo. Oh, there we go. There's that wood I was looking for. <laughs> this sounds sus as hell. Uh, all right, good stuff, good stuff. Um, maybe let's do. I haven't, I haven't done any smithing in so long. How, how do I have no, <laughs> no stamina still? That should replenish. Like, even if it's slowly, it should slowly replenish while you're moving around the map. In my opinion. Uh, all right, let's continue making some hardwood here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Boom, boom. Cool, cool. We'll rest a little bit. And then we're so close to... Uh... Who leveled up, by the way? Udris did. What'd you... Oh, one-handed. Interesting. What do you got? Uh, arrow catcher. Oh, this is a good perk. This is a really good perk. So, alright. Large shield protection area against projectiles. And his formation has a small bonus to their shield protection area. Versus this one, shield wall, his shield takes 20% less damage. That perk doesn't matter. We care about his captain perk. Troops in the formation you are leading have a medium bonus to their shield size against projectiles while they are in shield wall formation. That's cool. That's what we're going to be using a lot of when it comes to big battles is shield walls. So definitely going to pick that, especially since one of you guys told me in the comments, for whatever reason, it's bugged right now, you... I'm talking about Sven off here. Our captain perks don't actually apply to whatever group that we're leading. So it's actually in our best interest to have Udris end up leading the infantry. So that perk is actually really big. I'm glad he got that. Um, yeah, so let's see. Okay, we rested a little bit. Yeah, okay. We rested a little bit. We have nothing here. Any orders? Yes! Oh no, one-handed sword. Damn it. Mm. We're so close. We're at 41 smithing. As soon as we get to 50, we can double the speed at which we unlock parts. Um, how are we looking right now? So, wait, no, not one-handed swords. Two-handed swords. Okay. Remember, you need to unlock every single part from tier 1 before you can start doing tier 2 and so forth. So we got 1, 5... Four. Okay, so is that 10 parts in total before we start getting tier 2 parts? That's not awful. That's really not awful at all. Um, do you want to remember to do the this handle? Because that's the only tier 2 part we have in, <laughs> in general, right? Yeah, that's the only one. Okay. And that costs, yeah, just some wrought iron and some crude iron. That's not too bad. Come on, baby. Yeah, we still actually we don't even have enough smithing to get these right. And it has basically all tier 1 parts. Good god. This is this is going to be a long grind. There's a reason why I'm going to be doing this off camera. Hold up. Wait a minute. Alishka has reached the age of 16 and she needs your guidance. Wasn't she just like 13? Has it been like 2 or 3 years in this game already? Doesn't feel like it's been that long. All right, Alishka. You are our... Oh, that's right. You are our engineer-to-be. Okay. Um, apprentice? Yes. Okay. Apprentice. That gives you intelligence and engineering. Beautiful. Holy shit. You find her an apprenticeship with a siege en engineer? It can be a bit dangerous, but there's no substitute for that kind of practical experience? Yeah, no kidding. Look at her with that fucking hammer. God damn, it's the size of her head. 
Okay, before Alishka left, you asked the siege engineer to make sure that the young woman learns how to construct siege engines. I Isn't that the purpose of this internship? Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's maxed out. She's a capped out engineer. And we she hasn't even reached... Wait, wait. Is this the last development stage? Actually, does she... Can she join our party now? Does rest this give? Okay, it's all just focus points into something else. Oh, yeah, shit. Learn to construct siege engineers. Five out of five, baby. And they increased her skill in medicine. I don't hate that. I don't mind that. We're going to be investing in intelligence for her. I don't mind that at all. Awesome. I like the... Oh, man. I love the way she developed. She turned out pretty good. All right. Can you join the party yet? Let's see, Alishka. Oh, wait. Not eligible. What does that mean? Okay, I don't think she can join us yet. Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. So probably 18 then would be my guess. Okay, a little bit longer, but she's she's getting there. Alishka, good, good work. Yeah, I think we're going to start making you a medic now. What are we doing with Fodor again? Fodor, what does it say you're, you're trash at everything? Is that... Is this true? What did we... What were we doing with Fodor? Were, were we giving... Oh, scouting. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Alright, well, you know. He'll get there. He's a little bit younger still. Um, It said there was a perk somewhere here to be assigned, but I'm not seeing it. Okay. Back to the grind. Holy cow, we finally found what we were looking for. Don't mind me, everybody. Naked man running through this fine... Empire establishment. Oh, not you. Wait, Udris. God, no, not you, Udris. I need, uh... Oh, oh boy, that hurt. That hurt a little bit. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, ransom broker. Where is this lady at? Oh, here she is. Beneseth. Beneseth the Wanderer. She is a Batanian. Alright. Uh, my name is Fenolf, madam. Tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, she was a cowherd, all right, typically a boy's job, but you know, this is Batanians. It's where the uh, the men are men, the kids are men, the women are men, everyone's men. Uh, all right, good shot with a sling, okay, okay. Boys of the neighboring village would pester me, okay. One day he came up behind me and tried to take me by force, but I had a knife. I didn't know what to do with a body, okay. Uh, the Her parents told her to leave to find her way in the world, okay, she, Damn, all right. Not a warrior yet, but I could be one. Good with a sling and knife. I run fast. I can bear hardship. Um, all right, yeah, I could. How about running a town? Do you have any experience with that? She doesn't seem too excited about the prospect of uh, being in charge of an entire town, but she'll, you know, work on, she'll figure it out on the fly, you know, train on the job. It's a typical thing. Salary is, uh, you know, 10 dinars a day. Can you do that? <laughs> Run, run a giant town for us and you get 10 dinars a day. How about that? Oh, hello, juicy little caravan right there. Oh, fuck, are they faster than me? I'm supposed to be going to a tournament that we're definitely going to miss now, but that's fine. I just want... Oh, we're, we're slightly faster than them. We are just hawking them down bit by bit. No, no, wait, don't run into town. Okay, no, they're not smart. They could have totally ran into town. All right, all right. Uh, What do they got again? A lot of horse archers, a lot of cavalry. Hmm. All right, hand over. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, hand over your goods or die. This might be a tough fight. I'm not even gonna lie. Ah, what's the worst that's gonna happen? What's the worst that's gonna happen? We got these dudes. We got these dudes. All right, and if my troops don't, Svenolf does at least. You know, Svenolf can take them out. We've we've got a bunch of uh, Drusinics still with us. Yeah, we should be fine. So, alright. Got a new uh, new commander loadout because our perks don't count. So now all of Udris's do. Which is fine. He's got plenty for infantry. The only problem is we don't really have anyone with archer influence. But, uh, eh. It is what it is. Alright, boys. Let's, uh, this is actually like going to be a pretty tough fight. Besides our Drusinics, we don't have a ton of really great units here. Warriors! Move out! Hear me! Infantry right there. Horses over there. They just, they're charging straight in. Holy fuck. Okay, there's a lot of them. <laughs> um, 
I'm noticing there is a lot of them. Okay. One down. Fuck out of here. Another one down. These guys ain't shit. We've been to war. These are just fucking merchants. Mercenaries. That's it. Might as well send the infantry in. They're not doing much otherwise. Uh, let me get over here and fuck these archers up so they're not shooting at us. Oh, 323 damage. Yes, sir. Get out of here. Get them out of here. Jesus. Spinoff is just hacking them to bits right now. And I love it. Because every one of these two-handed kills... That <laughs> gives XP to all of our troops. Can't forget that. Okay, they still have horse archers for days. Yeah, this probably would have been really easy if we had all of our, like, elite archers with us still. But these are, like, newbie archers. A bunch of, bunch of highborn nobles. Still got the silver spoons stuck in their mouths. Haven't, uh, haven't really been to much combat yet. They'll learn. They'll learn. Or they'll slowly get peppered to death with, uh... These, wait, crossbow horsemen? That's what we're fighting against? That's a, that seems like a strange combo. Is that feasible in like reality? Like reloading crossbows efficiently and firing them from horseback? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, too far? Oh, how does that miss? Why is he just? You there, mate? <laughs> My god, he, uh, he zoned out there. Started contemplating life or something. Good work. How is this battle still not done yet, man? What is going on? How many did we lose? Five? Alright, a little, little smattering of everybody from the looks of it. Happens. There should be some good loot, though. Good, good. Beautiful. Alright. A ton of level ups. Holy shit, so many level ups. Oh, that's definitely worth it. And a ton of influence and renown. And, can't forget, those prisoners sell for a lot. And this loot. Hopefully it's good. Should be should be a lot of loot. I guess we'll head, head into town and see. Alright. And then... Yeah, look at... Oh my god, look at all those level ups. That is beautiful. Every single one of the Variags leveled up, so you're all turning into veterans now. Congrats. Uh, Highborn Warriors were leveling up. And a bunch of the Highborn Youths did. The Fihans both turned into champions. And you're going into Spearmen. Could turn you into a Drazenic right now. Ah, oh, fuck it, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. Well... Yeah, okay. We'll do. We'll turn him. I think we're going to keep the rest as infantry. I don't know. I, I think we're going to keep the rest as infantry because that's what I kept on noticing when we were fighting in wars the last couple episodes. We just don't have enough infantry. And I love the Otrox, Variag, Drazinic line, but it's just too tempting to turn them into Drazinics when I should just leave them as Variag veterans where they're still, they're still really good. They're still really good as that. All right, Arthesia. Uh, any tournaments going on? Nah, no bueno. Okay. Trade. Give me the good news. Give me the good news, baby. Uh, don't sell that off because I want to smelt it down. Um, let me just double check. No other two-handed swords. They never give us any, any fun two-handed swords. All right. Boom. Boom. Anything really good here I should be giving to my heroes? None of this really looks great. That's a good amount of money. And we will keep the horses. Okay, 6k. That's not bad. Running over to the tavern district. Another 4k prisoners. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. Who is this guy? Localian the Scholar. You seem like... Okay, never mind. You're not actually that great. I thought he was going to have, like, god tier of something. Like, you know, medicine or engineering. But no, he was kind of uh, just a letdown. All right, back to the grind. I just realized I completely forgot to sell off all the actual, like, 
loot from the caravan. I don't know how much this is actually going to be. Oh, it's another two grand. Okay, that brings the caravan loot more in line to what I was thinking. So that makes it like 12 grand, 13 grand we got from it. That's not bad at all. That's pretty good. Even though we lost a couple of troops, we leveled up so many and 13 grand is no joke. And we're actually somehow turning a profit right now. I don't know what changed if we like are owing less people tribute. Looks like we're paying a little less to mercenaries maybe. And I don't know. Our towns are just producing more money. I, the wages go all crazy all over the place. I don't know what's happening. Guys, I just had an interesting idea. So I'm starting to head back north because I want to go talk to Apollonia and continue to make some progress with that relationship. But um, we're in the neighborhood of the Northern Empire that we we are still at war with, remember? Um, ooh, Yorig's actually besieging a castle. We might go help him out with that. But not until we're done with a little side mission here. I notice Atticonia is a village that produces silver ore. Things that might be kind of useful, you know, for our <laughs> our new spent off ice jewelry business. Um, okay, they've got a lot of defenders. 68 militia and 29 villagers in here. But our dudes are, like, it's not a competition. Our dudes are way better. <laughs> Just period. Our dudes are a lot better. Um, yeah, we are going to want to uh, give me supplies. Okay, they're going to try to fight against us. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Um, I don't know how much loot we can get away with, but we're going to try our best. And we got a pretty small army on us right now. We can always just run away if need be. I'm not too worried about that. But uh, if we can get a lot of silver out of this, like the amount of silver that we were getting, um, or the amount of grain that we are normally getting, if we get that much silver ore, holy shit, we are, we are big chilling. This is great. Uh, oh, this is a beautiful little village. It's a shame we're going to have to, you know, just <laughs> destroy it. But uh, such is war, man. Uh, it's a nice open field, though, which is awesome. That's definitely what we want. So we'll let our archers just go to town on them while they come to us. And then Svenolf is, is going to have a field day on foot here. Like, with all the armor that we have now... Because remember, the last time we were doing this, Svenolf didn't have armor. Now he does. Uh, we should be able to tank these guys a lot better. Um, Soldiers! Infantry, I would like it if you guys went into a shield, a shield wall. wall. Because now that... Uh, what's his face? Uric? Udris. Now that Udris is your commander, uh, them going into shield wall, their shield should be able to block all the arrows. My god, these, these peasants are taking their sweet time to get over here. Their malnourished legs cannot move them fast enough. <laughs> Holy shit, they're coming in hot. <laughs> they turned the... Ooh! 120 headshot. Ouch. Sucks to be that guy. Holy shit, there's so many of them! <laughs> Alright, uh, Druzinix, good luck, you know? Um, <laughs> there's so many of them, holy shit. Oh, this should be fun. Get in there! They're just little peasants. What's the... Uh, What's the worst that can happen? 251 damage. Ow. Ooh, 11 damage. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. You guys aren't, aren't supposed to do that much damage to me. It's not what this armor was insured for. Woo. Oh, they got spears. <laughs> uh, ow. Okay, okay. These guys kind of fucking hurt a little bit. But like, low-key. I'm not... I need to stop charging into them. Like, the spearmen groups, specifically. Or... Yeah, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm breaking your shields. And I'm cleaving your heads off. Woo! <laughs> We're actually so much better on foot. I should do this more often. Alright, infantry, go ahead and charge in. Woo! Yes, sir! Oh my god, we destroyed their shield so fast! We're cleaving through them on foot. What happened? Why are we doing so much damage now? Has it just been that long since we've been against, like, low-tier troops? I guess we've been fighting wars for the last couple episodes, and we've gotten a lot of skill points since then. We've gotten a lot stronger. Holy shit. Alright, how many did we lose? Oh, we didn't lose anybody! 
Oh my god, that's amazing. We're a bunch of renown and influence as well. Hell yeah. Oh, that was that was perfect. Uh, some prisoners. Yeah, why not? Why not take some prisoners? All right, that's the rest of the highborn youths leveled up. Beautiful. Now we've got a bunch of the highborn warriors leveling up. Uh, we're keeping the Variag veterans for the time being. And some more Fions. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I like the way things are going currently. I do like this. Um, go ahead and loot all of that. And now, I think we're able to raid. So did they just give us the loot now? Because we originally asked them to just hand over their supplies. How does this work? Okay, yep, they grudgingly bring out what they have. Cool. What? <laughs> Where's the fucking silver? You're a goddamn silver ore village, and your villagers were inside. So I know that you guys hadn't been, like, you didn't just take it to market. You should have at least a little something, right? What's our, uh, our rogueries 52? How much? We got some runway left on this, so yeah. We definitely should increase this. Defeated villagers and caravans give 5% more access to their inventory. Is that for when you're demanding they hand over stuff to you? Or just, like, at the end of the battle when you're looting them? Versus... Notables give plus one extra troop when successfully forced to volunteers. We're never really going to do that. But villages of your clan recover 20% faster. That's pretty fucking good. That's actually a cracked uh, perk. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and raid you now. Please. Please give me... All right, I have to be hyper vigilant. Oh, there's some silver ore. Oh, yeah, we're getting some silver ore. Okay. Okay. Oh. Bro, you're not fucking fighting me. Get, get out of here. Get out of here with that. No problem is if he has a boy behind him. If he's got someone behind him, we're in trouble. Bro, who, wait, who is this guy? This guy is just... I mean, he doesn't have, like, awful troops. But, like... He's not that good. Why is he making a move on us? He can't beat us. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. He was trying to... He was playing chicken with us. But Svenoff, Svenoff is going to run away from that. Alright, we're going to speed this up a little bit. Still vigilant, vigilant, vigilant. What is this? Ragavan created an army. Okay, well, not right now. All right, he's hanging around. I'm worried another lord is going to show up, and then he's going to be the... Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Okay, we need to get out. All right, that's not bad. What is that? Seven... Six silver ore. Okay. Okay. Move, move, move. Time to move. This guy's going to start coming for us. But he's too scared to commit. Damn, so they must have taken out Yorig's army. I, I saw a bunch of our guys get taken out. All right, come on. Speed, it, speed this up. All right, we can go through here, right? We're still disorganized. Okay, there we go. I think it's better now. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. We're out of there. Boom. Grand Theft Jewelry, I guess. I don't know. Payday? Is that a better option? Yeah. I think I remember some jewelry heists in the Payday games. Do you guys do you guys remember Payday? How many of you guys played the Payday games? Those were a lot of fun. Payday 1 and 2. I don't know if those are still actively played or not. Um... Yeah, let's hang on to the silver ore. We actually have 11 of it. We must have been getting that from other people. That sells for 174 at Carabanseth? Holy shit. How is our... Is that because our workshop is using up so much of it? That might be That might be why, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, ooh, little 25 hundo right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Any... Uh, oh, a tournament too. You guys want to come on in? Get your ass beat in the tournament, too? Mila or Militia Penarch. Oh, that's like a mace or something. This isn't worth much. All right. And with this... Tournament... Victory right here. I think... Let's see. I'm pretty sure if I did my... Uh, if I've been keeping track correctly. We are now the number one ranked tournament fighter in all of Calradia. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Cal Dog. Man, that's good. 
look, look at Sega. Sega is, is still moving up. Holy shit, 21 victories. Not bad. Just got nothing on us at 27. I don't know if we ever did that in uh, with Ron Baringsworth. Did we ever quite make it to the top of the tournament list? I don't know if we did. Um, okay, yeah, these these uh, little uh, militia pernax are actually actually worth a decent amount. Twelve hundred, it's not bad by any means. We're we're catching back up to ten or a hundred k. Hell yeah! All right, these guys are still kind of being dicks. I'd love to isolate this guy and take him out, but not with this guy in tow. Holy shit! Fifty. 50 cavalry. <laughs> My god. Alright, yeah. Definitely don't want to fight that guy. Um, Ragavan, where are you at? Ragavan might be getting, getting into some action here, too. Um, we can always just... Maybe we can just... Well, I'll tell you what. We'll just wait for them to leave. Fuck it. I need to... Uh, I want to be grinding smithing anyways. I'll just wait for them to leave. Oh, look at this. There's finally a two-handed order. Beautiful. Um, okay. She wants... Alright, 50, 50... Okay. Alright, so we gotta actually... Oh, man, we actually have to make this what she wants here. Okay, so let's see. We're good on a lot of things, except for we need more speed and handling. So I think we decrease the size for that. Ooh, the weapon reach is going down fast. Oh, no. I don't know if we're gonna get enough thrust speed on it. Hmm... Hmm. I don't know. All right. Um. Do we just want to actually? Should we just? Should we probably just use the second part, since that's gonna make it more valuable? I think that's what we're, that's what we're supposed to do, regardless. Oh, look at that smithing part unlocked, and three skill points in smithing. Okay. She's not super happy with it. Okay, okay, okay. But 1100, 1155, that's a good amount. It's not bad at all. All right. Hey, good stuff. And wait, oh, we can't smelt it. Um, damn. Should I have just been doing orders this whole time? What happens if I, let me, hold up. Can we bang out this one real quick? Let's just, what happens if we make this? Ah, oh, that gave us a skill point too. Holy shit. Did I just give this man... Is that a wooden sword? Am I seeing that correctly? What did I just give this guy? Oh no, it's not wooden. I don't know why it looks... It looked wooden in the light there. Yeah, when you when it catches the glint just right, it looks like a wooden sword. <laughs> I was gonna say, we just scammed that guy. Um, Shoot, yeah, alright. Well, we'll just keep on uh, grinding this then for the time being. A um, little bit of that, a little bit of that. A little bit of this. 47 smithing? Yeah, we're damn close. We're damn close to 50. And that's when it doubles the rate at which we learn parts by smelting. Um, while we're waiting, Udris, I'm going to have you do a little more refining of that. And then I think we're going to need some more wrought iron. Yeah. Okay, we've got 31 charcoal. We're chilling. We'll, we will outweigh these guys. Oh my goodness, look at... Imperial Chargers, War Mounts, for only 300 a piece? Bro, give me all of those. Shit, if it's gonna be that cheap, we'll do that. And then, we can just upgrade the Drusinix to Champions now. The reason I was holding off is because War Mounts are typically pretty expensive, but not not at those prices they are. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fucking good. Um, uh, Variags. Yeah, still holding off on you. I, I need you guys. I want you guys as infantry. Um, and then that just reminded me. We do have some prisoners. They don't sell for much, though. All right. We're getting close. 48. Um, we are only missing six. Yeah, I think we're only missing six two-handed... Oh, no, five. Two. Five. We're only missing five parts before we start unlocking tier twos. It's been a grind, but we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. 
We are slowly running out of charcoal, and there's no uh, no hardwood in the town. So that could be a problem. Could be. Okay, tell you what, we're going to try out this throwing axe. I don't know what makes a good throwing axe, but it looks like... Oh, we're actually meeting all the perks right now. Why? I have a tier 4 part unlocked for throwing axes? Oh my god, 144 difficulty. Okay, I mean, we can try. It's gonna, It's not going to go well, but we can try. It's actually going to use up some of our good steel. We don't have any hardwood. No. Oh, no. Oh, there's... <laughs> Wait, hold up. Maybe they restocked? Maybe they restocked. Oh, they did. They Okay. Oh, thank God. Boom. All right. Beautiful. Come in here. Yep. Okay. Come on. Big money. You know what? I don't even care about how much money we get from this. I just want us... I, I just want us to get some smithing points. Huh. Oh, yes. Three skill points. Beautiful. We're up above 50. We just unlocked uh, a whole bunch of smithing parts for this. There's not that many axe parts that exist. What did we just unlock? What did we just unlock? Because... Am I... <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> Oh god I'm not sure what we just unlocked There's only 6 total parts for all of throwing axes It said we unlocked 2 more And I'm not seeing them Maybe we must have like unlocked them for something else But I, I'm not sure what that something is Anyways Let's come on over here Oh, Ooh, Wait hold up we got a throwing one too uh, mounted skirmisher, decrease mounted accuracy penalties by 20% while using a throwing weapon. And then a captain perk that we have since learned doesn't apply to us. Hmm. Okay. Versus just well prepared plus one ammunition and ranged troops in your party have plus one ammunition for their throwing weapons. Is that specifically like our, our, like our ranged type of units or just any unit with a ranged like throwing weapon? Either way, we're going to pick this. Hmm. I am not sure. Alright, but here's the big one. Curious Smelter. Increase rate of learning new parts when smelting by 100%. Beautiful. Give it to me. And then at 75 is another really good one. Which essentially does the same thing. But when you're smithing. When you're making weapons, not just smelting them down. We're actually about to level up. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. We've got a little stamina. Come on. Please, give me some parts. Oh, that's not a good sign. There we go, there we go, okay. <laughs> I was going to be really sad if we just got that perk and we were not even getting parts any faster. Um, yeah, so what, are we now four away? Three. Four away. Okay, we're going to get up to four or... Yeah, I tell you what, we'll have you... We should have enough charcoal to be able to uh, get the rest of the parks, parts, I think. Yes, there we go. With our very last charcoal, I think we unlocked... Wait. Wait a minute. We didn't get the last blade. Was I off? Was there another piece that I, I was missing? Or did we unlock a different tier 2 part? No, we unlocked something else. What did we just unlock? Oh, okay. I just had to leave and come back in. That was the last. Where'd it go? Wait, where did it go? I'm confused. Now I don't know. Now I don't know. What do we have unlocked? Oh, that was our first... Okay, so it actually hadn't been updating. I need to leave the smith and then come back in order for it to update like what new parts we have unlocked, it seems. That's our first tier 2 blade. Ah! Sick! Very cool. Do we... And that's the first... Okay. Now we're making tier 2 parts. Now we're making tier 2. Okay, what's the difference between this and... So, 3 iron. Oh, so 3 of this, the good stuff. Versus... These we're using... 3 rod iron. That actually isn't a problem for us right now, because we have a ton of iron spare. But what we don't have is hardwood. And unless... Let me check. Uh, I don't think they restocked again. They have not. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well. Um. 
that's been a good smith and grind we got to 50 we unlocked our first tier two parts i'm happy with that for this episode uh but after doing that for a while i'm ready to get into some fights again okay so i was gonna uh head back to carabanseth and uh so we could kind of replenish hardwood and all the batanian towns but then you know i realized this might be the last time that we get a chance to raid a bunch of silver ore so we're gonna head back over here and see if we can't get just a little bit more just a little bit more get our last licks in on the way out who's this guy Jamir of Jawal. Are you... Ooh, what's going on here? Hold up. A lot of guys here. A lot of guys coming in. All right, how strong are you? Whoa, 42 prisoners. Hello. Oh, a bunch of Sturgeons, too. Oh, good ones. Good Sturgeons. Oh, look at this. A bunch of Variags. Line breakers. Soldiers have... Oh... If we can isolate and just fight this guy right now. Oh my god, he's got juice. He's got so much good stuff. Hold up. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Do I level these guys up into Drusenix right now? Or do I hold off? Mm. The problem is, if I level these guys up right now, we, like, essentially have no infantry. <laughs> we already have very little. We already only have nine. We have essentially nothing if I level these guys up into Drusenix right now. I think we hold off. I think we hold off on that. Oh, this could be big. All right, Jameer. Square up, buddy. I, no, I don't know who you are. Oh, he's fighting us. Okay, he thinks he can take us. What, uh, what units do they have? Oh, okay, those are actually... I saw the high infantry percentage, and I just assumed they were weak. Not so much the case. A lot of Manavlitons, elite Manavlitons, and trained infantry. Okay. This is actually going to be a close fight. This is going to be a pretty close fight here. All right. Ooh, GL us. All right, so let's take a look here. So, they attack us. So, they will come to wherever we are. That should be a good thing for us. Here's the problem. The high ground's right in the middle. We won't be able to get up and establish the position on there by the time um, they're arrived, arriving as well. We might have to back all the way back here. Yeah. All the way back up here. Oops. Like that. Okay, and we have a reasonable field in front of us for when our cavalry are going to do some shit. Um, and I don't know where the border, like the actual hard border for the map is, but we can even move our archers up here. So they've got a little more, uh, a little more top-down view. Alright, I think that should work. Infantry, we're going to put you in shield wall. Good. Okay. Archers, move up here. Soldiers! Infantry kind of below Move. over there. Cavalry! Move out. We'll have the Drusinix over here. And then that way, hopefully, some of them split off. And then their shields... Well, actually, they have a lot of Manavlitons. Manavlitons are like the two-handed spear guys. Hopefully, they don't have that many shields. Hear me! Um, yeah, Forward. you guys right here for the time being. And I think, I'm trying to think, what's is in our best interest? How do we help most? Let's stay on horseback for right now. And we will play it by ear from there. Okay, so they've got some cavalry <laughs> on fucking camels. Alright. Oh, they're moving in. It's actually kind of hard to see uh, with the trees in the way. But luckily, that doesn't actually bother our AI archers. They've got aimbot. Head down a bit. Ooh, okay, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of troops. Let's try to aim at some of the ones that don't have shields going right now. Ooh, level up, beautiful. Oh, juicy headshot. Get fucked. All right, there's a the Manavlitan over here. Oh, they've got good armor. Uh oh, these Manavlitans are kind of beefy. Okay, 
Okay, are you paying attention to me or can I come in and... Alright, I guess not. Oh, let's take out the Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck you, crossbow. Hold up. No, no, no. Hey, hey. Yeah, I had real fun with that. Get fucked. Okay. Our infantry are gonna get fucked here. That's just kind of how it's gonna be. Ooh, that was risky. Ooh. Ooh, God, there's the Manapleton. I gotta watch out for those guys. Those guys are nasty. Okay. Let's try to keep these guys distracted. If we can. Oh, the Manavlatons are beefy, man. Holy shit. Good. Archers, keep doing your thing. Keep shooting at them. Keep shooting at them. Beautiful. They're doing great work, actually. Okay. Might be time for us to hop off here. Because our archers about to have to... Yep. Oh, okay, the Fions are going in. This is going to get dicey. It's going to get fucking dicey. Get out of here, Manavlaton. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, hold up. We didn't... We didn't lose that many archers there. I thought we were about to take some heavy casualties. Holy shit. Okay. We lost three Variag veterans. And that's it. Oh, what a great battle. 27 influence, 13... Re oh, man. Nice. Oh, that went super well. I always forget the Batanian Fions. They pull out the two-handed swords when they need to. And they're kind of monsters up close when they have to be. Oh, yeah. Jameer, yeah, you're my prisoner, buddy. Yeah, come on over here. And then look at all, oh, look at all these troops for us. Okay. Tons of Variags. That over, that right there. Oh my god, look at all the Variag veterans too. That replenishes and more what we lost. 11 soldiers, beautiful. Beautiful. Heavy Axemen, Brigand. Uh, what do you level up into again? Brigand. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll take them. We'll take them. Um, veteran Bowman, yeah. Oh, the line breakers. Yes, yes. Heroic line breaker. Holy shit, nice. Oh my god, that's awesome. Um, we'll take all the prisoners, obviously. Sturgeon warrior. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh my god. Wait, hold up. I think I just did something to my recording software. Give me a sec. Okay, no, we're still looking good. All right, uh, mercenary. I mean, do we take just all, just all these dudes and then we just put them, throw them in our garrison if we have to? Yeah, I think so. Just take them all. Beautiful. Oh my god, that was amazing. Um. Oh, and we. Didn't, I need to remember we should be checking out this armor that they got. What are we? Uh, all right, admittedly, some of this. Actually, wait, that's the same thing we're wearing right now. That should be an upgrade for some of our heroes, I would think. Yep, upgrade for Aphanus. Upgrade for Udris. There you go. Hey, right, don't say I never did nothing for you, huh? And then for Beneseth. Oh my god, you were wearing <laughs> boots with zero. Come on. Let's get you at least something a little bit better. Padded mittens. That was actually better. Cavalier boots. And yeah. Little cap there. Alright. Hey, you're looking good. Looking good. Uh and a fine shawl. <laughs> oh, that coif is actually better. Beautiful. Awesome. Good stuff. We will take all of this. Thank you very much. Now, who are you? Are you good? I'm kind of feeling spicy right now. I kind of want to go back to back. If that's a realistic possibility. And I'm looking at their numbers here. And I'm thinking it's a realistic possibility. These guys look like shit. Yeah, come on. Bring it on over here. I'm game. Yeah, that's what I thought. Run the fuck away. Run the fuck away. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, you want it? Bro, I'll take both of you. Nah, fuck it. I'll take both of you. Unless this guy's really good. He only has 22 troops, so I didn't really care what he had. Um, He's got some decent units. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Back to back. I'm taking out the whole clan today. Two jewel. Actually, they're different. Two Jawals and then a Benny Zalal. 
But this time... <laughs> this time I've got an actual infantry force to back up my archers. I... They're fucked. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're gonna have to cross a fucking river to get here? Man. Y'all don't know what you're getting into. You really don't. Alright, infantry. Shield wall. Um... Unfortunately, let me just check. I don't think there's... Uh, I guess we could go back to there and wait for them to come to us. I don't think the elevation is that important. It would be nice. Ah, fuck, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Infantry back here. Archers. Higher up. Calvary over here. Beautiful. All right. Uh, go ahead and charge on in. Everyone else is, is uh, knocked unconscious still. Oh, well. All right. They're finally getting close. And are, I can't... Are these... Those have to be archers, right? Otherwise, they have a ton of just <laughs> no shield troops. Which is perfect. I mean, we, we like to see that, obviously. For our archers. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of archers. Boom! Get out of here. Oh, they have... Holy shit, they have a lot of cavalry. Oh my god. Ow, fuck. Wait, what the hell? We're getting... Piecing us up? I don't think so. Let's, uh, change that narrative real quick. Yeah, there we go. Just fucking cleaving them all out of their horses. Holy shit. Good work. Oh, they never even reached our infantry line. They just they just stopped. What are you doing? What are you doing? What kind of strategy is this? A losing one. Oh, okay. Oh, I just saw a bunch of the uh, archers turn to face me. Don't like that. That is our sign to get the hell out of dodge for a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, 93 damage. Good shot there. Check out the crossbows. Woo! Okay, you know what? Hey, no, no, no. You know what? My boys have the rest of this. I'll fuck you guys up. I don't have a lot of HP right now. But they don't know that. We'll just charge at them and, and fake it like we got... We could do this all day. What's that? 17 arrows sticking out of me? Woo! Get the fuck out of here. Wait, seven javelins? Since when can I hold that many? Oh! Oh, <laughs> we headshotted him! Get fucked. 90 damage with a javelin to a dude in chainmail. That wasn't like some scrub. Holy. I need to start using these javelins more, man. These things are fun. Infantry, get in there. Get in there. Have, have at this last guy. Down he goes. Oh, wait, there, there are more people? Where are they at? Yeah, ev everyone charge in. I don't know. Uh, how many did we lose? Oh, we only lost two? Oh, they were two... They were two Drusinic champions, which sucks a little bit. But it is what it is. All right. We won. They're fleeing. Beautiful. Bunch of level ups. Ton of level ups, especially for our soldiers. Holy shit, look at all the renown and influence we're getting. There's still something I want to do. Once we have a ton of influence, like more than we're realistically going to use, I want to call an army and just use that army to travel town to town, winning tournaments with maxed out, like, lords, and hopefully get ourselves, like, some really endgame armor doing that. I still want to try that. I still want to try that at some point. Prisoner. Prisoner. Oh, Niaz. Yeah, I got you, bro. I got you. Who are you with? Or house, or or clan, or mividoving. Okay, well, there you go. No thanks necessary. Yeah, 13 relation, hell yeah. And we get a bunch of troops to replace, like, what we lost. Oh, some, oh, yeah, look at that. Heavy spearmen? Fuck, yeah. Wow, this is sick. Tons more prisoners for us to take. Uh, tell you what. For our prisoners... We do that, and we do this, and that'll take all the best prisoners. That's a super nice uh, 
feature. All right. Anything crazy good here? That actually looks like it would be an improvement for our guys. No? Definitely for her, right? Yeah. All right. Good. Loot it all up. Throw it in the back, boys. I'm coming for that silver. Oh, man. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is cruel. They've only got seven fucking militia. All right. Oh, we're continuing where we left off. Good, good. Yeah, Dwayne, you gonna do something, Dwayne? Yeah, run on out of here. I I took out your brethren already. Okay. I should actually hold on. hand on the uh, on the pause button. All right. I see one silver ore. So oh my god! Stop! 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 I said pause. Jesus Christ! Get out of there! I don't know who this guy is, but he looks good. Actually, hold up. Oh yeah, no, no, no. he's good. 53 cavalry. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's that guy. Oh no. Okay, hold up. He's okay. He's going for this caravan right now. If I just wait for him to go for the caravan, we can slip by here. I think. Ooh, okay, that was a little scary. That was a little scary. Not gonna lie. Thankfully, we have some fodder. Some, uh... <laughs> yeah, those poor caravans, man. It is what it is. Oh, we can get some revenge on, uh... Oh, hey, Liliza just gave birth to a boy. Ah, uh, Nozon, congrats. Is this his... I can't remember. Is this his... This is his second, I think? I think this is his second child, maybe. Oh, look at him. He definitely was not there during the the pregnant or during the uh, the birth process. He was like, "Ugh, ugh, that's a lot of blood. Oh my god, that's coming out of that's coming out of what? I don't want to see this." Oh, this is a cool little cinematic. Oh, I'm happy for you, big bro, little bro. I'm not sure. I think he's our he's our big brother. I'm happy for you, man. Wow, you're just gonna sit right down on her, huh? Bro, you kind of big to be doing that. We're this family's large, man. How long is this cinematic? Are we are we done? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give them some alone time. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, is that our first? Yeah, that's I. Oh wait, oh that's the first. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Congrats, man. All right, we're dipping out of here. Time to head up north. Uh, before we do that, we'll sell off our loot here. We'll probably go for this caravan. Uh, peace with the Northern Empire. Not quite yet. I want to get my last licks in. Beyond what I just, you know, did to them. Uh, Tavern District. Oh, 9k. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, we leveled up too. I didn't do that. Um, Two-handed. Went up a ton. If we need to put another uh, point into it. We're already above it. All right, what do we got here? Hope. Kills with your two-handed weapon have a 30% higher effect on friendly troops battle morale. All right. Party limit increased by five. Terror. Your kills with two-handed weapons have a 20% higher effect on enemy troops battle morale. Increase your prisoner limit by 10. If you look at Svenolf, the fucking mountain, do you get filled with hope or terror? I think it's terror. Yeah, I like that a lot. Beautiful. All right, back to town. And then trade. Come on, big money. Wait, let me just make sure. Not sending anything. That should be fine. Okay. Oh, man. 14K? Holy shit. Oh, holy sh Look, they got some two-handed swords here. They're dummy expensive, though. Holy. 26K for the cheaper of the two? 65k for a ridged great saber? Is it that good? Man. Oh, we're well over 100k right now. That's beautiful. Um. Oh, shoot. While I'm here, let me just see if they have a silversmith. Because if they do, I might quick buy it and then turn it into something else. And then probably immediately shut it down and sell it. I need to start, uh, start the monopolizing process. I like how when Svenolf is, uh, you know, in his all-natural attire, he has superpowers and he can see through walls. And, uh, yep, he knows 
There's no competition for Sven Off Ice jewelry here. Alright, on to the next town. Okay, these guys are actually smoking us. They're, <laughs> they're a lot faster than we are. Um, actually, wait, maybe not. Hold up, maybe not. We're faster at night, at least. I don't think we're going to catch them. Well, hold on. They're going to go in there, and then they're going to come out, aren't they? Don't they have to come out at some point? Maybe? Maybe, no, I think they're smart enough to just stay inside. All right. Can we just walk into town and start a start a little little fight on the streets with them? <laughs> uh, all right, let me uh, let me see if these guys have a silversmith. I should have been doing this this whole time while I was running around doing uh, tournaments. And once again, we are in the clear. Awesome. All right. Well, with that, I think I think it's time for us to head back to uh, friendly lands. This has been a fun little excursion into the empire. Won a bunch of tournaments, but. Uh, I think it's time for us to kind of make sure our house is in order, our affairs are in order, and then, you know what, a good way to wrap up this episode, I don't know how long it's been going on, probably quite a while, probably should have wrapped it up by now, but I took so long to make this episode, I'm sorry for how long it took, uh, I had a very large exam uh, that I've been uh, kind of prepping for, and yeah, just took that today. It was a tough one. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I've never seen so many of my classmates leaving that exam look just wrecked. Just destroyed. It was like our longest one by far. Normally our exams are like a long exam would be like 80 questions. Because you got to think our questions are like board style questions where uh they're like a paragraph plus each. Like you you get a minute and a half to do them. So, an 80-question exam, that's pretty long. This one was 112. And it was the only grade for this class is this one exam. And if you don't get above a 70%, you just fail the class. <laughs> so, um, and it was, a, it was a very, very tough exam. So, yeah, that was not fun, but glad it's over with. I felt decent enough on it that, like, I, I definitely know I passed. But, um... That wasn't guaranteed coming into it, man. It was it was a little scary. Only six hardwood? That's all you guys got? But yeah, when even the, uh, the overachievers are looking depressed coming out of an exam, you know it was bad. <laughs> uh, Alright, look. We're still holding on to Caravan Seth. We're going to get in there and see how Nozan's been doing. Hopefully, uh, he hasn't been too distracted raising his new son. I didn't actually look. What is his son's name? I probably... It's kind of relevant. I feel like I should have looked that up. Um, but before we do that... Thank you, thank you, Udris. Alright, let's get over here and uh, see what the town is looking like. Okay, prosperity, militia, garrison, all that is still going up. Loyalty is a little low. A little low, and still, and actively going down. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. Alright. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what happens if I put... So right now it's at negative .92. If I put Benesef here... Loyalty becomes even. So instead of... In Continuing to go down from 33, it just stays flat. I think we're going to have to do that. I think we're going to have to do that. And we might just keep Nozon with us. Eventually, we're going to get some some uh, Sturgeon towns. But until that happens, we might just have to keep him with us. Uh, how is this going? 67 days. Um, all right, we got a lot of cash. Can I put more than... Oh, I don't know I could put more than... It, it just limits you to 10k at a time, but I can put as much in as I want. That's good enough for right now. That's, uh, what, 21 days worth? That'll hold them off for the time being. Beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? This looks good. This looks good for the time being. Uh, let's go into the garrison. How are we looking here? We're looking beefy. Looking damn beefy. Alright. Uh, what do I want to put away? got a bunch of random troops 
And we're not exactly, like, on wartime footing here. So a lot of these guys we can just kind of put in here for the time being. Yeah. All right, give me a sec. Let me, let me sort through all this. All right, there we go. That should work. So we're actually sitting with 71 troops that still need to be leveled up. Actually, wait, let me throw the Fion champions in here. Uh, we're going to leave the Druzinic champions down here. Then, where are the Fion? Oh, that's right. I have 30 Fion champions in here. I don't know where all the rest of my Sturgeon, uh, my Druzinic champions are. It must be in one of my castles. Um, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sure where they actually are. I'm not 100% on that. Um, holy fuck, I need to level these guys up. I probably missed out on so many level ups by throwing... Actually, no, I threw in guys that either I didn't care about or were already at max level. So, that shouldn't have done too much. Uh, oh my god, so many heroes. Uh, heavy... Axemen. Holy shit. Oh, that is beautiful. That is fucking beautiful. Alright. Alright, well, you know what, fuck it. We'll keep these guys honest for the time being. Uh, let me just run over here and see. Actually, can I look at this from here? Yeah, okay. We have 15 Drusenic Champions in there. Got you, got you, got you. So, is... Um, you're staying at Karabanseth. You're governing Drumore Castle. They've already got a son. Ragna is his name? It's an interesting name. Um... Hmm. I guess I could just have him do Pendrea Castle, I suppose, right? Actually, you know, I want... I want more people in our clan. What am I thinking? I want more people in our clan. Let's have, uh... Yeah, let's have Nozan go over there, which will mean him and his wife are in the same castle again, and we'll be chilling. What did I just see? Oh, okay. As soon as I selected that, I saw all of a sudden uh, Benesef pop up, and I was like, no, 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 Nozan, don't. <laughs> don't bang her. <laughs> that's, that's not, that would not be good. All right, and it would appear that our uh, lover is in Mazadan Castle. After uh, seeing his new, uh... His new nephew? He's fun off with like one of his own. So let's go ahead and uh, run on over to Mazadan Castle and can't see. I don't know how many like how many times we have to go on quote unquote dates with uh, with her, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, look at oh Beneseth is getting a bunch of points in Steward. <laughs> She's like, I'm so Ooh, wait a minute, what did I just witness? Sixty nine looters? Okay, I will be right back. We are uh Definitely fighting this. Oh my god, there's so many of them. This is gonna be a fucking slaughter. <laughs> we'll let our Batanians have a little bit of fun at first, but then we're gonna send the uh, the infantry in. Okay, hold up. We need to send our infantry in now if they're gonna get... Oh, oh my goodness, holy shit, there's... That was a bit more than I was expecting. Okay, 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 okay. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're chilling. Svenolf, it's time to get angry. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh my god, they're running! Look at them run from us! They outnumber me 10 to run, 10 to 1, and they're still running. Holy shit, that's that fear perk that we have. Svenoff, whenever he kills an enemy, it does so much more damage to their morale than it did before. Holy shit! Oh boy, you are not accurate at all like that. That's one. Two. Three. Oh, he survived. Come on. Ah, I think the rest of them got away. What? Are they still here or did they escape? I thought they escaped already. Oh yeah, they're gone. Boom! Look at that, 22 kills in like 30 seconds. Holy shit, we're almost up at 250 athletics. Ooh. Good stuff. Oh my god, look at all these level ups. Holy... <laughs> That's insane. Um, tell you what, we're not going to upgrade them to Fion champions yet. That way they continue to get XP faster, since there'll be more Fions on the field gaining XP. 
for that pool. Um, we'll go ahead to upgrade you. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Use a horse. No, 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 no. I don't want any Sturgeon brigands. Oh, miss me with that stuff. By that same logic, should I be keeping them as spearmen for the time being? I probably should. I shouldn't be uploading or <laughs> uploading. Shouldn't be upgrading them to their final uh, final tier. Ah, nah, whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't matter that much. All right, upgrade, 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 upgrade. We actually have a decent amount of infantry now, so like at some point we can upgrade these Variag veterans, and we don't have to be too worried about that. All right, good enough. I should have dropped that brigand off. He's just going to be annoying since it's always going to show that he's ready to level up, but we don't actually want to waste a horse on him. I just noticed we're riding in with exactly 69 troops in our army. I don't know. I'm just it's an interesting sign. Maybe a good omen, some would say. Um, <laughs> all right, hopefully she's actually in here and not uh, running around to all the different... Uh... Oh, good. She's not at all the different towns. All right, here you go, Svenoff. Time to nut up or shut up. Good luck. All right. Svenoff, you are the, the biggest, baddest warrior currently on Calradia. You fear no man, no army. But potentially blowing it with the woman you love <sighs> would strike a fear into anyone's heart. What are you? What are you cooking up there, babe? A little uh. Actually, wait. There's no one else here. Damn, you cooking that much for yourself? I guess that's why you're almost as big as Svenoff is. Um, Svenoff, my greetings to you. Hey, Apollonia. Good to see you. Um. Okay. There is. Uh, something is... Are we not able to do dates with her anymore? Okay. Something I'd like to discuss? Okay. I have a proposal that may benefit us. Oh, this is a trade menu. Um, oh, this is awkward. Uh, um, I, I, I have some money for you, I guess. Is this, is this how you start out a healthy relationship? Uh, 500? Is that, is that an... No, 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 no. Sign off. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. 2,000 dinars. There you go, babe. I, uh, you know, I don't know if you heard. I'm, I'm currently the number one tournament fighter in all of Radio. Here's just some of my winnings. You know, why, why don't you go get yourself something nice, huh? Yeah, look at that. Why don't you get yourself something nice? Buy yourself, um, you know, I heard there's some new jewelry out. Uh, this new brand. It's the, all the rage. Yeah, Svenoff Ice, if you've heard of it. It's, uh, it's pretty luxury. Pretty expensive, um. 2,000 might only get you, like, a little bracelet. Oh, you know. <laughs> okay, now here's the real question. Perhaps we should discuss a future together. Yes. Well, I've been thinking about that. Okay. I need a partner whom I can trust. Oh, these are not the best success chances. 60%, that's it? Um... Okay, those who are loyal to me, I am loyal to them. Okay, okay, good start, good start, good start. Happy to hear that, yeah, me too, me too. Um, I'm just not, how can I say this? I'm not attracted to you? Wh what? You aren't attracted to Svenoff. Possibly the only man in Calradia taller than you. The hulking monster who has just single-handedly been leading the charge jumping to the top of the hierarchy in Calradia you know what Svenoff is gonna gonna look at this optimistically in the most beneficial way that he can maybe she just she isn't sure about him running around in his tidy not so whiteies you know she's not sure that he's gonna you know not embarrass her on certain occasions that's what I'm gonna choose to believe she means by that um Okay. Or maybe this is just a test. Maybe this is just a test. Perhaps if you can see how much I love you, you could come to love me over time. Maybe you too will join me in the no clothes wearing game. <laughs> oh, let's go! Oh, that was a critical success too! 
Ah, it makes me so glad to hear you say that. It was a test. It was just a test. She was just testing to see, like, if we would get angry, maybe. No, no, Svenoff, he's smarter than that. He's smarter than that. Yes, I would be honored to accept your proposal. Olek, as head of our family, needs to give his blessing. There are usually financial arrangements to be made. Okay. Holy shit. We fucking did it. Oh, Svenoff, way to clutch the fuck up. I'm so proud of you, man. Look at you just landing, superhero landing right there. Okay. It's official. We are engaged. All right, and I think with that, that is a good time to end off the episode. I think this one was kind of a long one. I haven't added up the uh, footage yet, but uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, plan is, going to do a little uh, live stream, I think, Saturday, and then another episode Sunday. Going to try to keep them kind of closer together since I was gone for almost a full week, I think. Uh, but thank you guys for uh, supporting me. Lots of love in the comments as always. Uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, as always, take it easy.